So we're here at Three Rivers 3D, and uh, these guys make a scanner, a desktop scanner. Uh, and, and it's while it's not the cheapest one that we've seen, it's also not the most expensive, and it's also very effective and very fast. And so what you see here is uh, this is a little handheld one. You can imagine being able to put this in your luggage, uh, be able to put it, you know, uh, carry it around with you, move it to wherever you need it to go. And this has got the sensor here that's going to scan your object. Now what this does is it it's actually going to do a laser scan uh, of your object, and you and then put and then you can put it back together. Now they're using here you can see MeshLab. MeshLab is actually something you can just download off the internet. But here you can see the point cloud that's being generated and then, then you're going to put that back together and you're going to end up with a 3D model. Now you may not always use that 3D model by itself to do the uh, as, as a final model but it is it massively speeds up the process of building a true 3D model that you're going to end up using especially when you use things like the topography tools that we saw over in one of the other in uh, with um, one of the other programs. So so these are the kind of things you can remesh those things based on uh, these these rough scans uh, that you get. And these aren't actually rough scans. I mean, a lot of them are down to the micron. So definitely worth checking out. Now, this is gonna, this is going to run you about fifteen thousand dollars, but it's going to scan this. Each scan is going to be about five seconds, five to fifteen seconds, and so it's very very fast compared to a lot of the other options. Um, definitely worth checking out. Once again, Three Rivers 3D. So we're here at Pico Scan. Now, you may have heard of the Pico projectors. They're these tiny little projectors here. And this is a fascinating use of, uh, of this technology. What it's doing is it's actually projecting onto this object here. So it's got different uh, subjects. So you, you have different lines and different types of lines. And what it's doing is it's using those lines to be able to figure out, uh, you know, where, what, you know, develop what is in 3D and where it is in 3D. And so uh, it's a very, very compact. It's working with a simple Canon camera. Now it's going to control that camera and take photo after photo after photo. As it puts those together, you end up, this is uh, an example of the kind of model that you're going to get uh, from one of these pieces. So it's actually a fairly detailed model, especially if you're doing roughs, um, that you can get uh, from, uh, you know, from a simple setup. Now this whole setup comes together, so there's no way to, you know, if, even if you have a Canon camera, you're still going to get another one. And uh, what this is, you have a setup here, and you have the projector up here and, and all these uh, pieces. And all of this comes as a package, which you can then go in. Now, once again, Mesh Lab, again, is another way that you can piece all these things back together. Now, this is going to cost you about $2,000. So it's a much more affordable way to do scanning, but it's also a, a much more compact way. This is the kind of thing, if I want to take something to, let's say, uh, Africa or uh, you know other places, and I want to be able to have it in my backpack and actually be able to scan stuff while I'm working, uh, this is the way that, I, that I, I need to do it. I mean, I just can't carry a lot of the other things with me. And so it's, it's a really, really interesting solution uh, using something that we already know, these little Pico projectors, in a very imaginative way. Once again, this is called Pico Scan. So we're here at Next Engine, and uh, we've talked a little bit about laser scanning. Laser scanning has really become an integral part of building models. A lot of times when you want to work on models, you do want that organic, you either have something you want, it's a gear or something that you, an object that you have to reproduce, or you want to work on something that's kind of organic and then get it into the computer and finish it there. And a laser scanner is key. The problem is most of the laser, laser scanners that we've shown you um, are either a little clunky or they're, or they're really expensive. And this one really hits the right price point. Um, this is about $3,000. This is the Next Engine 3D Scanner HD. So here, here you can see it with an add-on, and this is actually rotating it and, uh, and scanning it all at the same time. That way you can get the, the areas underneath. And so you can see the laser scan working here. Now, as it's scanning this, it's, it's using the patterns there to figure out where all of the, uh, uh, you know, where it is in 3D. And uh, what you're going to get is something that looks a lot like this. Now, what they've done, while we've seen some of the, um, a lot of people using some uh, more open source type things, this is uh, their, their scan studio that really lets you work with all of this data, stitch all that stuff back together. So you get this very, very high resolution scan. And as we back up, you can start to see there's a lot of data there. So all of those points are going to help build that 3D object. Now, once you get that, now you can take it into your 3D package and start to do more work on it. So here you can see some more work being done. So this is, a, this is what it looked like when it was scanned. And here you can see work being added on in, in ZBrush. So um, you can take it, you can take that base work that's been there and then add a lot more detail to it as you move forward. Um, this is, at, at this price point and at this, at this uh, form factor, this is really something that a lot of production companies can simply set at the end of a lot of modelers' desks and let them just have one there so they can just be sitting there acquiring that information and then using it, either cutting it back up and rebuilding it, uh, recreating the topology, or uh, adding on to it in a, in, a, in a program like ZBrush. So once again, it's called Next Engine, and it's definitely worth checking out.